When it comes to MMA, Skip Bayless, he's that guy that, that didn't do his assignment. He didn't read the book. You know, he went on Spark Notes, and now he's acting like he wrote the damn book. On Undisputed, Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp were talking about the comment that Floyd made about having about Connor having the edge in their fight. The discussion got around to Nate Diaz's first fight with Connor McGregor. Well, 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 how did he start when Nate Diaz got it? Huh? Skip Bayless was talking about how the first fight went, and I think a lot of people unfortunately feel what Skip said. He guessed 40 pounds and had what five inches of reach on him and got him on the ground. It's called wrestling, sumo style wrestling and he just pinned him. When it comes to MMA, Skip Bayless, he's that guy that, that didn't do his assignment, he didn't read the book, you know, he went on Spark Notes, and now he's acting like he wrote the damn book. Even the guys at ESPN, you know, even the guys at First Take, like Max Kellerman, who's been a, who's been a great boxing analyst for all these years, and, and Stephen A. Smith, whoever it may be, those guys really don't know much about MMA. They're, they're not MMA fans. You know, 10 years ago, they weren't talking about MMA. The first Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz fight, UFC 196, you know, the first round was not Fast and Furious. It was not Michael Johnson versus Justin Gagey uh, type of fight. It was, it was a very controlled fight by Conor. He was out there pushing Nate Diaz back, landing some nice one-two, lending his signature left hand. Nate Diaz was firing back with some stiff jabs. It was definitely Conor's round. Conor won that round 10-9. Halfway through the round two, that's when kind of Nate Diaz started to take over. Hit him with that nice one-two combination, and that hurt Conor McGregor. Really, it was all Nate Diaz after that. And you know, Nate Diaz was pushing the face, landing some good shots, hit him with a one-two, one-two. It was then Conor McGregor initiated takedown. Nate Diaz did not drag him down. Nate Diaz did not try to wrestle him. Conor McGregor decided to shoot for a takedown. It was a very sloppy takedown. He was tired, he was hurt. He went for a takedown. Nate Diaz almost catches him in a guillotine. Like he's on top, he's landing punches. Conor McGregor gives up his back. Nate Diaz sinks him in the rear naked choke and chokes him out. Yes, technically he won the fight on the ground. He won by submission, but how did he get there? He hurt Conor McGregor on the feet. And if Conor McGregor did not initiate the takedown, and if he decided to stand up, he would have been knocked out. He would have been TKO'd or knocked out. So there's a notion that Nate Diaz like dragged him down and because he's so much of a, you know, he's so much of a better grappler. Sumo style wrestling, and he just pinned him. That's just not what happened. The guy who outweighed him by, I'm gonna guess, 40 pounds. And I don't know where he's getting that from. Nate Diaz weighed 169. Conor McGregor weighed 168. Let's say on the night of the fight, Conor McGregor was 170 pounds, right? Nate Diaz was probably maybe 180, right? Maybe 185, I'll give him 15 pounds. So 15 pounds, 10 to 15 pounds, is not the same as 40 pounds. They, yeah, they fought at 170, but keep in mind, Nate Diaz is a 155er, just like Conor McGregor. Nate Diaz has fought at 155 pounds, majority of his career. He had four fights at 170 before Conor McGregor. He won two and he lost two. And he dropped back down to 155, his, his true weight class, where he was a title challenger. Conor McGregor, being the, you know, fought at 145 and 155, really 155 being his true home. At 145, he caught a lot of weight. He was probably the biggest 145 pounder. Uh, on the roster, really. I mean, he literally, if you look at Conor McGregor's weight cut to 145, man, it looks bad. So, you got an oversized featherweight in Conor McGregor, and you got an undersized welterweight, and, and both their true homes is 155. The guy who outweighed him by, I'm gonna guess, 40 pounds. That shows well, how much Skip Bayless, or and Shannon Sharp really knows about MMA. They really don't know much.